Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 8th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Thank you for joining me today. Have a blessed Sunday. My friends and family from around the world. Looking at our sun today, only thing to talk about really is an active sunspot region, in the southern region of the sun. No coronal holes to talk about. This is our sun at 304 angstroms. Now 211. Very active sunspot. And building coronal hole in front of it. Thanks to all the new friends and family who have joined Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared with my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Our sun is very, very quiet. That's all I can say, guys. And we all know what we are on the verge of. Let's look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Most recent being a 4.9 here, the Rick James Ridge, not to be confused with the Rick James Ridge, <laughs> 5.2 there in Portugal off the coast of Spain, 4.9 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, earthquake swarm continuing, Dominican, and again a 3.8, Coastal Junction, California, and just yesterday we had earthquakes in this region as well. Just going to look here the last three days, four days, five days, six days. Very busy and active area for earthquakes. Most recent being by the geysers there, four, 2.2s. And as well, watching a very deep earthquake situation happening here in Fiji. 100, 538 kilometer depth, a 560 kilometer depth as well a 584 kilometer depth that's all today very deep thrust crustal movement 4.5 new zealand there and as well 4.5 marquee island macquarie island sorry 4.7 in there solomon islands as well pretty deep earthquake here marianas trench shishijima 4.0 over 300 kilometer depth as well 4.5 Pakistan, that's where a very deep lower level low is affecting them, as well, 4.7 Iran. So pretty busy, 24 hours. Let's look at the last seven days. You can see there are a lot of elevated rings all around the planet right now, going through a deep earthquake movement. And volcanoes are getting many updates as well. Hence, me not uploading the volcanic activity report last night because as I was making the video, I was getting more reports and I'm going to have to do a full report today. Hopefully, I can keep up with them. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Had a quick little winter storm head through Alberta last night. Not much affecting Calgary. But there were blizzard-like conditions just the south of Calgary, even being reported by a guest on a Milky Way Messenger channel. Apparently, he's visiting in Calgary right now for a couple months. Big shout out to Milky Way Messenger and Kent. Hopefully, they're watching. So, overlooking Pacific Disaster Center, mostly talking about the floods across the United States, but also some avalanche warnings to report here in Alberta. Jasper and the Yoho National Park. Extreme heat throughout southern Mexico. And very active volcanoes and storms in the region as well. So definitely look forward to the volcanic activity report coming out this afternoon. I'm going to make sure that it's out before 
we get any more updates for volcanoes. So situation across the United States, there is another low coming in from the Pacific overnight tonight and tomorrow. So watch for extreme weather to erupt throughout the central United States, moving up into Ontario. So I was pointing out the um, earthquake here in Pakistan and Iran. A deep lower level low spinning right there through Iran. But there's also a deep lower level low that is affecting Pakistan right now. And all across the northern hemisphere, the low pressure systems have gained strength and size. Deep, deep lower level troughs. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting here, home base. As, yeah, we are very cold right now, minus 11, minus 18 with the wind chill, but it's only gonna last till midweek. And then we will have another roller coaster event as low pressure system comes in from the Pacific, but across central Canada and eastern Canada, extreme cold conditions will be prevalent, minus 20s or even colder throughout Quebec. Five day forecast across the United States, watch this long line of moisture to head into Ontario. And then form a nor'easter to affect the Atlantic provinces later in the week. Across Europe, watching low pressure systems merge and converge right across the United Kingdom and into Finland. Heavy, heavy amounts of snow along the coastal regions, Finland and up into Sweden. But here, five day forecast, day after day after day of rain for the United Kingdom, friends and family across Europe. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Because that is a lot of rain and it doesn't seem to be stopping. These low pressure systems just seem to be ramping up, getting bigger and stronger. Nothing seems to stop them. Same with the low pressure system that came off of China here. Very vigorous low five day forecast shows it going straight into Kamchatka. But then watching another one develop north of Japan right after that. And just look at the moisture line. Atmospheric rivers, we have been talking about them for the last couple of years kind of a new term. Even meteorologists on mainstream are using it. Five day forecast for Australia, watching a cyclone develop over the Northern Territory, but it looks like it's going to move east, southeast. So it looks like this cyclone will be affecting the Eastern seaboard of Australia after the five day forecast. Long range forecast, definitely showing a cyclone affecting Southeastern United, uh, Australia. Also watching a very sizable low pressure system and deep lower level trough just seems to be spinning off the coast of Madagascar, five day forecast. South America, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains. They're still dealing with flooding conditions after the heavy amounts of torrential rains in the last couple weeks. So the big story will be the cold temperatures across central and eastern Canada, but as well, this big system that will be affecting Russia in the coming days. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family from around the world, I'll leave you here. Looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere, much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.